Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fighting Soros. Please welcome CEO Proverbs Media Group, Elaine Beck. From Revere Payments, Wendy Kinney. CEO and founder, Glorify, Toby Nagabauer. And your host, CPAC Chairman, Matt Schlapp. All right, CPAC, you know what starts to happen about now. How many of you voted in the straw poll? Uh, your voice will be heard very soon. We'll hear, what's, we hear what you have to say. I have a feeling I can predict, because it was probably all in Steve Bannon's speech last night, uh, if you had a chance to listen to that great speech. How many of you wish that we had a George Soros on our side who loved our country so much that they'd give everything to try to protect her. I wish we had that, but of course, as conservatives, we don't have a magic bullet, and we don't believe in centralized power. We believe in the entrepreneur and the individual. We have three individuals here who represent many of you who have said, I'm not gonna take it anymore. I'm gonna step up, and I'm gonna do more to save America. Wendy, let's start with you. Okay. You're looking at all these people that get canceled online, uh, not just their speech, but their business activities. We've seen this not only with J6 people, we've seen it across the board. You saw the problem. What did you decide to do? You know, and thank you, Matt, for, for everything you're doing. We, without you, we all wouldn't be here. So thank you. You know, we saw cancel culture 18 years ago, so our company is not new to cancel culture. It was a different time and a different space and a different vertical. I never dreamed 18 years later after starting a payments company that, that Americans would be canceled because of something they tweeted or a person they voted for. I can't, it's, it's inconceivable to me that payment companies or banks can decide whether you will succeed or not as an American entrepreneur. It's stunning. So we took a stand at Revere, and we said, no more. We will, be, we will step out. We will be brave. We know that there are other people like Soros-funded companies that are far bigger than us, but we're going to be brave. We're going to, be, we're going to stand out, and we're going to take a stand to, for freedom, really, for freedom in every American business out there and protect them from cancel culture. And, Wendy, you have a, a big booth out here uh, in... Yeah. Go see Revere Payments, learn yep. how you can feed into your network sure. where you'll be uncanceled. Don't be canceled. Won't be canceled. Won't be canceled. Toby, uh, Toby is great for many reasons. One of the reasons Toby's great <laughs> is he has a great dad who, yes. was, a, who was a That's... great conservative congressman from not too far from here in Texas. His ACU rating is sky high. Randy Nagabauer, you probably ran, remember him. Toby, uh, you haven't decided to run for office. You've decided to mix things up yourself. Well, I call it the worst executed midlife crisis of all time. Okay? <laughs> you know, instead of being on a boat or something, I'm, I'm working 16 to 17 hours a day. And my viewpoint on this is it's time for the conservatives to deliver better products than the people who hate us. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking on Marcus at Goldman Sachs. I've got more ATM locations than Bank of America by 50%. And we're going to offer full-service banking, full-service credit card, full-service broker-dealer, and it's not tier two. The liberals are going to be coming to glorify because it's, I would encourage <laughs> everyone in this audience, let's don't settle for second, let's lead with best-in-class products, and that's our attitude about it. And I can't wait for you all to see. I think Candace teased you all yesterday with our Reagan video before my friend Ted. But uh, this, is, this is not about, hey, take a 10% a, a less experience. We have the best loyalty, the best... We got to show them that we're better than them. We are better. Not, 
Not that we're equal with them or we'll give you 85% of them. Let's go be better. And that's what we are doing at Glorify. And let me tell you, uh, we all have to put our money where our mouth is. So we're using Revere Payments. If you bought your tickets online, you're using Wendy's technology. So why don't we help our friends? And by the way, it wasn't tier two, Toby. She actually get, gave us a better deal than all the others. And I was, like, oh, obviously, I was just saying it. I no, want no. us to think big. No, Let's be I, big. Well, you're right. We're right. all in and, this. And we have to, the world has split, right? It's an alter, we have created our own universe. Because if we depend on the left to dictate our future, our business, our lives, our education, our family, we're in trouble. Big trouble. We're done. Big trouble. We're, we're already let done. Me get a, let me get Elaine in yeah, here. Yeah, so, absolutely. So it's not just finance. Um, and, you know, conservatives are great at asking people for money. So, uh, and you all are very generous. Uh, and all of you are very generous. But it's also about stepping out with what your talent is and what, the pur- what your purpose is. What are you doing, Elaine, to try to make this better? Well, what happened to me was about four years ago, almost exactly four years ago, I got a vision from God. And that was a year before my husband passed away. And he told me that I needed to bring all the Christians in the country together. Small task. And, uh, but I immediately knew, as the things that he told me was, that I was to invite all of you to be part of that. And so this is an answer to prayer for me. So thank you for letting me be here, Matt, to speak to everybody. And so what I did was I I started by thinking that it was going to be the Internet. And like Wendy, we all found out that they were going to ban us. I mean, I built an app for the phone that was for Christians, and nobody could get on it. They shut us down. So then... Um, I went through a trial, I had cancer, and I made it through, and I ended up getting to know Matt and Mercedes, and God told me that I needed to stick with what I knew best, which was talking, and so I have a radio show, and I have built a studio, and I now have a, I'm going to have a a TV show on CPAC now. now with Matt and Mercedes, and so... Uh, You can use your voice. You can use anything that you have, any talents that you have. I mean, I'm like like him. I could be out, you know, cruising around the world. But God says that there is no place in the Bible does it say that you retire, okay? And so I'm out here fighting the fight, and I I, I challenge especially all the seniors to get into the fight to, to follow God and do what he says. Amen. Wendy, uh, you uh, have been involved in politics. You've tried a lot of different things. You've believed that candidates would be the savior for all the problems in the country. And good candidates do great things, and good senators and congressmen do great things. But we've got to go deeper, right? We've got to systemically change the whole ballgame. Absolutely. And we really can't do that with a candidate, with one person. You know, you mentioned George Soros, and, and that's an overwhelming concept. He's a billionaire. You know, he started. By the out- way, the Prime Minister of Hungary says the proper name for George Soros is Little Georgie. So why don't we just start calling? Him? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so it's overwhelming to think that that Little Georgie is—he's so big, even though he's so little. Um, <laughs> um, we, we think that he, that's overwhelming to us. But if each and every one of us took one step, did one small thing, like a micro move to make a macro, to make a macro impact, like what could each one of us do? Because if we're going to depend on one candidate or throw our money to one candidate and hope that they're going to be our savior, we're in trouble. Now, I mean, we had an amazing president, and pray to God we have him back. But we still need. We have them back in like two hours. Well, I, I mean, want you, to know. you know, I, I, mean in a, I mean in a bigger way. I mean in a bigger way. But but if each one of us took a step out, I mean, I think CPAC is a is a great place to come and meet meet like minded people. But each one of us in our community took a step. Can you imagine just one thing? Each one of us pick one thing, and maybe it's God inspired or whatever it is that's inspired by your children and education. Can you imagine the macro effect that our movement can have? We're not split in half. We're much bigger than half. They just own the media, and they, owned, they sort of own technology until now. 
until now when we've got great Americans stepping up, building our... You know, Elaine, I've been out to Elaine's studio, and I know it's even getting better, but you talk about world-class. She's hiring world-class people. I've met her people. I've dealt with your company. Everyone raves about the customer service and the discount rate and all that stuff. But, Toby, I have a question for you. When you do these things, they throw everything at you. I mean... Every obstacle. You, you want to take on the big banks. Um, you know, how are you still walking on two feet after what you've been through? I've mentioned the worst educated, uh, worst executed midlife crisis. But I think the key thing, and, 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 and uh, the sec- I mean, the, Victor Orban said it perfectly. We've got to play to win. And that's where we're going to be. And if you even compromise a little bit, you'll lose. That was my favorite part of his speech, was if we compromise a little bit, if we start making excuses that we can't do it better and bigger, then we should stop now and acknowledge the defeat. I have two books next to my table. George Orwell's 1984 and the Bible, because I think that's a pretty much where we are right now, Matt. By the way, they're both... Nonfiction. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so, uh, and, and, and you're not scared of little Georgie either. Well, I actually know him is the biggest problem I've got with him. So uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I do know him and, uh, and I've been in finance at the, a level with him. And uh, it's almost pathetic um, yeah. what he's done with. Um, but here's the difference. Mark Zuckerberg's making money off of you all, Okay. The Google guys are making money off of you all. Disney's making money off of you all. Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, until we can't take our country back until we take our economy back. And that's what we're trying to do is create a marketplace for this movement. So, uh, so if you care about your country and you're a conservative, you don't put all your hope in a candidate. And you don't put, and I run a nonprofit, but you don't put all your hope in a nonprofit. For profit entities, because that's what we believe in, are going to have to lead the way. And Elaine, uh, you've made a lot of investments. All three of you have. Uh, Toby's talked about he's ma- making a really rather major investment. I've never met a pessimistic investor. You wouldn't do this if you didn't <laughs> think you could turn this thing around. Absolutely not. I think it's so important that we understand that, you know, number one, as you know, Uh, Being a devout Christian, I trust that God is in control. Do you? And so when we understand that, all we have to do is stand together, people. We have an opportunity right now to change and turn this around. And we can't do it by just staying in the same place. We need to build new colleges. We need to do all kinds of new things. We need to get involved in any way that we can to start fresh, to take care of our schools and that, get our kids out of these indoctrination centers. So there's a lot that we can do. So all of you are capable, and God gave you gifts and talents. Use them. Amen. Wendy, um, We don't have all the same tools they have. We don't get all the same line of credit. We don't get all those fancy puff piece stories in the paper about, oh, this innovative new ID idea. What's your like rules of the road? What are the what what have you learned in the process of starting this thriving company? And what's your advice to the entrepreneurs out there that are thinking of solving another problem that we're facing in the country? Yeah. Well, I think we do have a lot of tools. I think on the right. I mean, we certainly do have a lot of tools. But for anyone who's looking to do this, be brave. I mean, this is David and Goliath, right? And be brave. Go out there, take, take the leap. And there's a lot of support, as you know, even through the resources here at CPAC and people like Toby and Elaine. I mean, there. Have not... you met people while you've been here? Yes. Have you yeah. guys met people while you've been here? Like amazing people? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we're here and we have our whole universe. It's here, Matt. I mean, we've got it. So come join us. Join us, really. That's really So what, I, what I hear. I keep hearing this on all these panels, be not afraid. By the way, the, the motto of, of St. Pope John Paul II, be not afraid, a man who fought communism, a man who fought fascism, a man who fought globalism, the first step is don't be afraid. Um, uh, you, haven't, 
you put that into practice by not being afraid. Uh, Wendy talks about these lessons people need to learn. Uh, but you thought big. You yeah, didn't think I, I, medium size. Yeah, I, I think we've got to go big. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg thought big. Google thought big. All of these big tech guys are thinking big. And I've been a donor fighting this. And I decided that we needed to move beyond donor to going head to head against the biggest companies in the world. And because there's, we're, the, we're not the minority here. There's 100, 125 million of us who are done and they're just looking for an alternative map. That's right, that's right. I, I will say this quickly. They want you to feel like a minority. Yeah. They want you to feel small. They're my friends. These guys are cowards. I mean, I'm, we, if we just even half challenge them, Matt, we'll win. They're so, cowards. They're at the Hamptons having cocktails right now. Uh, the, um, I want to know how you know that, but I'm, we'll get into that later. I've been there <laughs> with them. Elaine, um, you're not afraid. No. Your voice is getting bigger. Yes. What's your final advice to folks in the audience? Be bold. Be bold in Christ. Be bold in everything that you do. Don't be afraid. In the Bible, it says 365 times to not fear. That's one for every day of the year. Fear nothing and do what you do best. And that's all God asks of you because he loves you. Wendy, how can folks learn more about your company? and learn about the services and how they switch their online payments? Oh, sure. For any entrepreneur, anyone thinking about entrepreneur, come visit us at our booth, Revere, we're at 143, or go to reverepayments.com. Come see us. We'll do it. We'll take care of you. And I know in Toby's case, just listen to Candace, okay? I know George Farmer was up for her, yeah. right? But Candace Owens will tell you what to do. But, uh, but seriously, you got some pretty big products that are coming out. Yes. We'll be hitting the market soon. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be, we'll be out with full service banking, credit card, broker dealer, mortgage. Um, gosh, I'm forgetting. But I, I want to compliment what she's, uh, what she's doing here. Payments is the front line. If you want to know where the front line on the First Amendment is, it's in the payments platform. Fox News wouldn't even let us run. Well, your wife's going to kill me for telling the story. Let's just say payments. <laughs> well, join the club. I get killed exactly. by the But what I'm saying is this is important, and we're not selling anybody's data. This is just about creating a marketplace for the movement, and we're going big. I mean, I think we've got to, everyone in this room, I challenge to think bigger. And I've been a giver, and I want to, do more by going head to head. All right, well, we all yes. know the top part of our theme. We got the fire Pelosi part, right? You got that? There's a, there's a byline, and don't get in the car with Pelosi either, but fire Pelosi. But this is part of the Save America, right? It's We're right. going to get out there and save the country, and you guys are a big part of it. So thank you for being here. Thank with you. Us. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you all. That's good.